This morning, we are learning about all of the uh, different Olympic sports here on Good Day Columbus. It's been quite a week for Cameron Fontana. This morning, he's live at OSU's campus practicing <laughs> handball. I, okay, I have to admit, I didn't even know this was an Olympic sport. Karen, I know a lot of us didn't know that this was an Olympic sport, but this is very exciting because you've seen it here at the Rio Olympics. We're now with JD with Team Handball Club here at The Ohio State University. How's it going, JD? Good. Good okay, so handball is pretty interesting because the Americans, when it comes to the national stage, haven't really done well, right? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. They've yeah. been uh, to a couple Olympics, but they okay. haven't qualified since 1996 which is when Atlanta hosted the game, so they were an automatic qualifier. And it's one of the only sports that we haven't medaled? Correct. The other three sports are badminton, table tennis, and team handball. Are the only and that's like you see, Singapore dominating China, mm -hmm. so we've never won a medal Correct. in handball. Correct. Well, this morning, I think we can practice to work for 2020, Make right? Our way there, exactly. I mean, in a nutshell, in like one sentence, what is the object of handball? To be faster, stronger than your opponent, to get the ball in the back of the net, Plain and simple. And you just got to throw it in and you score exactly. by throwing it, it in there. Get it past the goalie and be easy buckets. Nice. So we're going to toss it back to you guys. And coming up next, we are going to learn the rules. We're going to learn how to play. Here, you go in the net. I'm going to try to throw one on you. See, this is going to be right another here. thing that Cam is like perfect at. Whoa! Oh, he wow. I hope he's okay. That was like, whoa, 90 miles per hour. Cam doesn't mess around. No. I mean, he's. I've seen him take down kids. <laughs> He has not. And it is Olympics week right here on GDC. And today we are learning about the fast paced sport of handball. Cameron Fontana is putting his skills to the test right now. Cam, I'm doing a little research and it's huge in Europe and they're trying to get it to be bigger here in the United States. Hey, that's right, Karen. So we're actually, we were just talking about that, Josh. Karen's talking about getting bigger in the United States. Yeah. You guys want to start like a Columbus handball club, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have a couple of guys uh, who just graduated, and they definitely want to get going with, uh, c continue with the sport. So we'd love to get So if you're interested in watching at home or any of your kids are, make sure you contact. We'll give you the information on social media so then we can start this in Columbus. But we're getting with the basics right now, Josh. So when you're moving, when I first watch it, I think, oh, I can take the ball. And I'm just going to run all the way down the court <laughs> and then throw it at the goal. But that's not the case, right? That, unfortunately, is How not the case. How can you move? How, what are the rules with moving? So it's kind of similar to basketball where you're able to dribble. But instead of going crossovers and fun stuff like that, you can only be straight up and down. So I can't be like, you know. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so it has to be straight up and down, flat hand. And then also you get three steps. So before I even dribble, I can take three steps. Okay. And then I can either pass it or I can start dribbling. And then once so I, when you're not dribbling, you can go one, two, three, but then at that point, you got to start dribbling again. Exactly. And then after you pick up your dribble, you still have three, you get three more steps after that. Nice. Yeah, so I can take one, two, three, dribble, one, two, three. Right. Yeah. Now, perfect timing because we stepped right up to this line and coming up next, we're going to work on how you can actually shoot it at the goal. And from what I know, you can't shoot it past this line. I love okay, it, Cam. We are learning right <laughs> along with you. I'm thinking Cam could be on that team. And it is the final day of Olympics week here on GDC. So this week, Cameron's done a lot. He's gone diving. Mm -hmm. He did judo. He played table tennis. He raced some kids with track and field. <laughs> did he let them win? or? <laughs> no, he did not. But I think one of them rightfully beat him. Today, he is trying out handball on the OSU campus. Hey, Cam, good morning. Hey, that's right, Adam. Well, it's the last morning of Olympics week, and we're with Team Handball Club at The Ohio State University. And coming up after the break, we're learning how to take a shot. Oh, no, in handball. I didn't mean to do that. Today is our final day of Olympics week on GDC. And Cameron Fontana, he is live on the OSU campus, trying out the fast-paced game of handball. Cam, getting dangerous. Somebody got hurt a minute ago. Is, is he okay? So Adam, I just, on behalf of Good Day Columbus and all of us at Fox 28, I just wanted to give an official apology to JD for hitting him in the uh, bad region. For guys, are you okay now? Oh, now, I do say goalies do wear cups, right? Yes, okay, absolutely. cool. So he's okay. We're I just all good. Official apology. Now, we get to throw more balls at him because we're learning how to shoot. Right, Carter? That's right. So there are different ways, and I'm going to let the guys kind of go at JD, but there's this line here. What does that line serve? Sure. So only the goalie can go in this six-meter area. Okay. So when we're shooting, um, ideally, we'd like to shoot from this line. And as Michael just demonstrated, you can jump inside as long as you release the ball before you land. So if I go here and up and throw it, I can. That's right. But if my foot touches the ground, 
You can't throw it at that, that point. That's illegal. The, the referee will call that off. And it won't wow. Be and what are the different types of shots? Because I see some of the times they're bouncing it, they're going high, they're yeah. throwing it low. Yeah, so in reality, there's going to be a defense. So we rarely get the opportunity to shoot cleanly from the line. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to get around the defense. You can jump over and shoot over the defense. Yeah. Um, some guys like to go low to low or low to high. And what's the points? Like, how do the points work? How many points do you get if you make it? You get one point. One point at so all times. So a a goal is a time. goal. Just like soccer. Yeah, just like soccer. All right. So we got JD there. There. Josh is shooting right now. We're going to try one right here. And again, I can run and jump as far as I want, right? That's right. As long as you release the ball okay, before you Okay, here we run. go. So I'm going to jump up. We're not going to aim for that part. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> That's what you try to see him do. You try to see him go behind the back. But let me see. <laughs> We're going to learn some more moves coming up next. This is a fun sport, It man. looks like there so much go. fun. Maybe they should be putting cups on now if Cameron's on the court. Cameron is a dangerous man. <laughs> so we're learning about handball this morning. Did you know it was first played in Scandinavia and Germany at the end of the 19th century? Now I know. I now you know. know. And now it's also an Olympic sport. Cameron Fontana, he is live on campus, oh, giving it a try, it injuring some people in the process. <laughs> hey, Cam. You know what, Adam, I just, again, I like to make sure I think it's worse when you go easy on somebody uh, because you want to show how good they are. But we worked on offense earlier. Now we're working on defense, right, Josh? Yes, absolutely. So what are the things you're allowed to do? We're kind of going through a drill over here. Yeah, so if you guys look at this drill right now, um, you'll notice that they're wrapping up their arms, their shooting arms. Uh, you're allowed being in front of the player, but you're not allowed being on the side or behind them wrapping them up. So you want to make sure you're always chest to chest. So if I have the ball and I'm coming at you in your defense, Correct. okay? So I'm here, and I want to get right there, so I take my three steps, and I go up. So you, you're allowed to block my arm. Yes, I can. We call it chopping the wood. So okay. you chop the wood with your one arm, and you wrap with the other. Oh, so if I go, and you can also wrap people? Yes. So say you wrap me, I'm just like, uh -huh. And what can you do? Like can you this? push me away? I can push you away, but I can't tackle you. So, I, so I'll be like this, and I'll push you away like this. Now, if you're strong enough, I mean, is it like that movie where you could just take me all the way to the other side? Yeah, yeah there are times that, def that definitely happens. But I'm sure they're trying to get out of it. Right, exactly. And by that time, uh, a foul, which is good, okay. will be called. So defense, of course, you have the players, but your main defenseman is the goalie. JD, we're going to go over to the goalie over here. Get to the goal. You guys get up. You get some balls. We'll throw it down. Now, when you, obviously, you got these balls flying at your head. And are we okay to say what happened in your first game? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, my first game, I took a shot from the corner over here. Guy came pretty, pretty close to me, hit me right in the face, I blacked oh out. Oh my gosh! So. I mean, it's a very physical sport. So get in the center. What are some of the things, when they're throwing it at you, that you're doing to kind of just stop it? So what you want to do is you want to work on cutting off the ankles. You want to focus on kind of their arm trajectory and where they're, you don't want to look at their eyes because eyes are always a deceiver. Okay. So, you want to focus on kind of where their arm, where it looks like their, tra their trajectory is going to end up going. Okay, so you give me an example. Josh, kind of tell me where you're going to be trying to throw that. So, if Josh is going to be going, he's going to be going top right. He's going to go top right. Okay, so I'm going to watch his arm and okay. watch where his wrist ends up falling. Got it. So, he's going to go top right. Oh! So, you want to make a powerful, explosive step. Powerful, okay. explosive so like a, step. A, a fencing lunge, essentially. Okay, so I'm going to get in the middle here. Okay. So, you and want to keep, you want to keep your feet shoulder width apart. Feet shoulder width apart. A little, a little tighter. A little okay. Tighter. Okay. Arms up like this. Arms up like this. Arms up the entire time. All right. Got it. You're on the balls of your feet, but not too tight. Now I'm not wearing a cup, guys. Just uh, for the record, G give me like 60. Okay, so like 60 percent. 60 percent. Here we go. Oh man, my fingers are getting close. Jammed. So close, okay. Cam. Oh. Go hard. There we go. go. Got hard. one. Here we go, Josh. Go, go, go for it. Go for it. Go really good, Dan. Get, give it They're to you. They're all aiming much higher than Cameron was aiming when he was <laughs> <laughs> throwing balls earlier. Strategic. Cameron, pretty good. We are also, of course, thankful to have Cameron Fontana. He is continuing our Olympic training week this week. It's now coming to an end. It is, but not before he tries out some handball. So he's at OSU to test out his skills this morning. Hey, Cam. Hey, guys. That's right. It's kind of sad because it's the last day of Olympics week, but you couldn't end it with a better sport than handball. We're back with JD and the guys here at OSU. Now, one thing I did notice when I was here at the goalie, I kept getting yeah, like... Getting real, so real. It's scary, yeah, man. Yeah, it definitely is terrifying at, at first. At okay, first. at first. But <laughs> one cool thing that you're going to teach us here is what's called a quick break? A fast break. Fast break. Just okay, like so basketball. Josh, you get started and talk to us, JD, about what this really is. So essentially, I make a save, I see an outlet pass to Josh, he's streaking down, he's gonna be one on one with the goalie. Whoa, so, okay. Easy peasy. It all relies on me making a quick save, 
having a guy streaking down the court. Right, now of course you have defensemen, but when you're doing this, the how often in a still... game do you get to do something like this? Uh, I don't know, it depends on our team. It, de it all depends on turnovers. Right, so if okay. If we turnovers, get an easy shot for me to save, that's how uh, likely it's gonna be. And there goes your brother Dan, don't trip on the ball, so he's gonna go down there. Man, they're quick. So basically, I just toss this to yep. you, and then I go down. Yep. So I'm gonna catch it right here, and then before the line, <laughs> you're being right. easy on. I don't know how to. No, play Edwin, I, I try to look like back. them. They look really cool when they're jumping. So now we're gonna go the opposite way, and I want you to tell me what you're focusing on when someone comes at you. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna give you this to you, Josh. So I'm going down here. So here I got a break. So he's coming out. I'm stepping out. Trying to cut off the angle as much as possible. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 he did it! Sneaky. But that again, and Good job. when you have someone at you, pretty much all you can do as you defense is cut off the angle. Basically, you want to come out and surprise them, eliminate as many you know op oh. options as they would have to all score right. a goal. Well, yeah. coming up next, we are going to kind of play a full game here and tell you how you can sign up if you have a student here at OSU, and also how you can contact them if you're outside of college and you want to start here in Columbus. We're going to toss it back to you guys. It's tiring, but it's fun. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Cameron Fontana has been giving the sport of handball a try this morning. He has tried every sport. <laughs> he really has. In the past two weeks. He's now at the OSU Center, or OSU on campus. Hey, Cam, what's going on? Hey, guys, well, we're wrapping up our time here with handball with the handball club here at The Ohio State University. We're back with JD and the team. Now, this is called a what? Overload. It's Overload. Okay, so what's basically happening here? Overload is the most basic handball play there is. Essentially, it's going to start down here at the wing position. All right, let me see it. The wing's going to beat his defender, pass it off to the next back, beats his defender, beats his defender, beats his defender. Now this guy's one-on-one -on -one with me. Oh! Easy goal. Nice score, Michael. So that's, that's the objective of overload, is to create an easy shot. Okay, for so I'm going to try this over here. And you say this is one of the most difficult moves? Exactly. Okay. It's one of the harder shots in the game. So we're going to go around. Okay, I'm kind of waiting over here for Michael to give it to me. I'm going to go one, two, three. Ow! See, what they told me was, they told me behind the scenes, <laughs> but if you go in between, he lets his legs go open. Oh, That's where you got to shoot my legs it. up. It's the easiest spot. <laughs> so, good work, good work. I want people to know, if they have students here at OSU, mm -hmm. when do you guys kind of have sign-ups? So we will be signing people up this Sunday from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Student Involvement Fair at the Union, or at the Oval, excuse me. Um, nice. All day. So we'll be out there at our booth. Um, come find us. You can find right. us on Facebook, Twitter. I just type uh, Ohio State Team Handball or Team Handball at Ohio State. And I know you mentioned even around Columbus wanting to kind of get an adult league mm -hmm. if you're not a student at OSU. You can What's the email address? You can still contact, uh, contact us at teamhandballosu at gmail.com. Teamhandballosu at gmail.com. Honestly, this is probably one of the coolest sports I've ever played. So give yourselves a round of applause, guys. Thank I want to do Cameron. one thing, okay? As we toss it back to you guys, you get on goal, throw me the ball. <laughs> it's going to be Michael, you and me versus them three. Let's try this oh. one last score. You ready? Here we go. You ready, Michael? Now we got a dribble. Woo! Oh. That was a good effort. Just don't hit anyone in the groin again, Cameron. <laughs> You are not going to let that go, are you? Poor Thank Cameron. Thank you, Cameron Fontana.